today we're going to cast a replica of an ancient Greek mirror and we're going to use an alloy called Speculum. It's two-thirds copper, one-third tin and that alloy is very, very hard, uh, brittle, but apparently it will polish up uh, into a nice neutral colour. If you just use bronze or something you'll get a, a bronzish tin to it. Uh, what I've done is I've used AI to create a 3D pattern that's very similar to what was actually used back there in the way of uh, the size and shape. So it's a, a, a motif of Greek design. So we've got um, the symbol for Hades at the bottom and the main component in, in the middle is um, uh, Persephone. So husband and wife. And on the back is where we're going to actually polish this and make it smooth. It's 46.3 grams in plastic, so I'm going to need a bit over half a kilo of spectrum. And to do that, I've got a couple of hundred grams of um, tin, or in this case it's pewter, but close enough. And then we need twice that in copper. So we want about 600 grams. We're a bit shy. So I've got a pot of copper shot. Get rid of whatever that is. That will take it up to 600 grams. There we go. That'll do. We'll load that into our crucible and we're going to heat it up to about 855 centigrade for its pour this alloy should melt around 755 the mold. That looks pretty good. There's the casting. Well the casting came out well. Only problem is it is brittle. I knew it was going to be brittle. Um, it just cracked as soon as I put a bit of water on it I could pick it up so it wasn't particularly hot it was certainly warm put water on it and just went crack and all the bit, bits fell apart so this stuff is a bit like glass we're going to try casting speculum again I'm going to change the form you just slightly I found the phase diagram and did uh, some more digging with uh, the ancient uh, formula it was just about two-thirds copper and one-third tin but it turns out with modern speculum in the phase diagram we're after this little thin band here so somewhere between 68.2 percent copper down to 66.8 percent copper balanced tin gets you this little fine line here and that's what they're aiming for so to do that I've done some calculations I need to add to what remains of the previous one, which was uh, two thirds, one third, about an extra 10 grams of copper, and that should uh, see us in that band right in the middle somewhere. All right, so we'll go from here and see how we go. Okay, casting three, and this time I'm going to leave it cool in the mold. Hopefully that'll stop it cracking. Uh, probably about 875. Alright, 
let's see what we've got. It's fairly cool to the touch. Still warmer than ambient, but I'm dying to know if it filled and if it's still hot, I'll close it back down. Alright, well, it's certainly alright to touch. Gently take that out. There we go, there's the face of it. Persephone. And the symbol at the bottom is her husband, Hades. And then what we're going to do is just brush that up and then polish this backside with some luck. Now I, I did try to see uh, with my bandsaw and uh, grinding wheels, you really can't cut this with a bandsaw successfully well. Uh, you've really got to grind, grind it. It is hard. Well, I've got it out of the sand. I've cleaned it up a little bit, cut off the sprue and all the rest of it. The face looks pretty good. The back I've started, I've just started doing a bit of sanding on it, so uh, it looks all right. There's some issues down here, but that'll be wrapped, I guess, at some point. There might be a little crack through there, but. We'll see how it goes. It is certainly one of those things that you have to treat like glass. But let's see, like glass, can we turn it into a mirror? We've got a lot of sanding and polishing to do yet. Well, we're back today and we're going to be doing our polishing and bringing this up to a mirror shine. Now, I've got a couple of cracks that are propagating. There's a tiny hairline one going through there and a larger one there. So I'm going to stabilize it with some glue to start with and then we'll finish that off. I've got an idea on how to permanently sort of bond this area. But we'll get into that in a second. I'm just going to put some super glue into a couple of the little recesses. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is put a patina at this stage on this. Um, so I'm going to use some liver of uh, sulfur. It's actually uh, pewter black because it has a fair amount of tin, so that should work quite well. This stuff stinks though. Let's wash it off. with the polishing. Okay, that's the sort of look on the front. Now it's time to get stuck into the back. So I'm just using a, an orbital sander, um, working through the grits all the way up to 3000 and then I will hit it up with the, um, the buffer. buffing done. Let's bring it up to a, a good nice high polish. Okay I've got a couple of different um, cutting compounds, a finer one and an initial one uh, that will um, is more aggressive. So we're going to start with that and we'll see what we've got. How did it come up? Let's have a look. It is a mirror. Let's see how good of a mirror it is. 
Now we're going to do something about this handle. Okay, I'm actually going to use 3D resin, UV curable, get my glasses on, and we're going to coat the back of this. Uh, being for Hades, we're going with black. So we're going to go for a black resin and see how that works out. Okay.